Hello there. Today, I'd like to take you on an ASMR journey into deep relaxation. This is going to be a slightly different talk to most of my other videos, in that it's going to be a guided talk. I'm going to use my voice specifically to guide you into a deep state of relaxation. And this is something I've decided to do for the channel because it's something I actually do quite a lot in my everyday working life. I'm a trained actor and also a director. And when I'm not working on a theatre project, I quite often run workshops for classes or for individual clients who want to learn some of the techniques of acting and use them in their everyday lives to become better communicators or to have more stage presence when they're giving a presentation or speaking in a meeting. I always begin these sessions with 10 to 15 minutes of deep relaxation in order to help them release the tensions and the stresses that they've been experiencing during the day. And quite often when I do this, my clients actually fall asleep. Only for a moment or two, but they quite often drift off because they're so relaxed. And so, as all of my ASMR work is dedicated to helping you to relax and sleep and find a restful haven, I thought it would be quite appropriate to make a specially dedicated relaxation track for you that uh, hopefully will help you to relax and fall asleep too. So, welcome to the world of deep relaxation. Let's begin by getting into a really comfortable position. Ideally, you want to be lying down, although if lying down is difficult for you, then sitting in a comfortable chair is also fine. Needless to say, you shouldn't be doing anything else while you listen to this talk. You certainly shouldn't be driving or operating any type of equipment. And hopefully you're just settling down and preparing yourself for sleep. So while I talk, I'd like you to just make yourself as comfortable as possible. And uh, that might involve you readjusting your pillows, sorting out your covers, if you're covered by a duvet or a warm and cosy blanket, and just getting your body into a position where it feels really comfortable. Close your eyes, if they aren't already closed. And now that you're finally lying still, I want you to pay attention to how your body is settling into stillness. How your bones are settling down. How your muscles are settling down and beginning to release. And at the same time, how your mind is beginning to settle. Two. And as your body continues to settle and sink down, I'd like you to take your attention to your breathing. And I don't need you to regulate your breath in any way. There's no need to take a particularly deep breath or pause your breath or do anything unusual with it. Quite the opposite, in fact. I just want you to keep breathing in whatever way you are already doing and just notice it. You don't have to change it. You don't have to modify it. Just notice it. Notice the rhythm of your own breathing. If you've literally just lain down, it might be slightly faster than usual. 
or if you've been lying down for some time, your breathing might be already quite slow and deep. It doesn't matter either way. The rhythm of your breath is your rhythm. It's an integral part of who you are, and whatever way you're breathing will be right for you in this moment. So you can just take a moment to check in with that rhythm and enjoy it. Notice it. Become aware of it. Become aware of your own unique, beautiful rhythm. And also become aware of what your breath is doing for you. Flowing in and out automatically. Re-oxygenating your blood cells with every new breath. Removing carbon dioxide from your body. And just sustaining you through every moment of your life. The breath is truly a remarkable thing. We only tend to notice it, usually, when something occurs to disrupt its natural rhythm, when we have a cold, or if we have a hay fever allergy, or an illness that makes breathing difficult. So it's nice just to be able to notice that rhythm and that amazing sustaining power that we all have when it's just flowing normally and naturally. And if you like, you can take a moment to silently thank your breath for all the work it does for you throughout the day. But you don't have to do this if you don't want to. Just observing the breath is enough. Just connecting to your own personal rhythm is enough. And now that you're connected to your breath, I'd like you to shift your awareness to the rest of your body. And in particular, I'd like you to pay attention to all the parts of your body that are touching a surface. So, if you're lying down, I'd like you to pay attention to those parts of your body that are touching the bed beneath you, or the couch, or the floor. And if you're sitting, I'd like you to notice all the places where your body is touching the chair. And just take a moment to see which parts of you are connected to the surface beneath you and which parts aren't. If you're lying down, the chances are that the back of your head is touching a surface, the back of your shoulders, most of your spine, but probably not all of it. Quite possibly there's an arch in your lower back that rises off the surface you're lying on. And if that's the case, I don't want you to change that. I don't want you to try and correct your position or flatten out your back. Just notice it. Notice the places where the body rises off the floor. Another place might be the backs of the knees, the back of the neck. There might be a tiny space rising off the surface at the back of your heels. It doesn't matter which parts of your body are connected to the floor and which parts aren't. All I want you to do is to notice. Notice the difference. Notice the planes of your body and how they fit on the surface beneath you. And as you do this, you can really think about the surface that you're lying on as well. And you can have a sense of gravity weighting you down against that surface. 
and you can have a sense of that surface supporting you. So again, whether you're lying on a bed or lying or sitting on a sofa, you can just check in with yourself and notice the way whatever you're lying on is supporting you, bearing your weight, keeping you in position. And as you do this, you can relax even more, knowing that whatever you're lying on will support you, will hold you firm. You can let go of every muscle in your body and you will be supported. Once you have that strong sense of support beneath you, I'd like you to turn your attention now to the environment around you. And I don't want you to open your eyes. You can keep them closed. But in your mind's eye, I want you to see the room that you're lying or sitting in. Just picture it in your mind and have a sense of where the walls are, where the ceiling is, where the doors and windows are. And once you have that sense of the room around you, clearly fixed in your mind's eye, you can expand it further and begin to get a sense of the building that your room is in, the structure as a whole, the external walls, the external doors, the roof over the top of the building. The foundations deep in the earth below. And then you can also start to think about the world beyond that building. The outside air. The sky above. The weather. It could be that where you are now it's very hot and sunny outside. Or it could be very cold and snowy. It could be raining, or the wind could be blowing. But right now none of that matters, because the room that you're in is sheltering you from all those outside elements. It's providing you with four walls of security and shelter. It's providing a ceiling over your head to protect you from the rain or the wind or the hot, hot sun. And it's providing you with a floor to lie on or to place the furniture on that you're relaxing on. And that floor is firm and is holding you fast. And so, as you continue to lie there, and as you continue to breathe in and out, in your own natural rhythm, you can relax even more deeply, and really luxuriate in the knowledge that the room around you is sheltering you. The bed or floor beneath you is supporting you. Your own breath is sustaining you. You are sheltered. You are supported. You are sustained. And so you have everything that you need in this one moment, not only to survive, but to thrive. And you don't have to do anything. You can relax, you can let go, and you have everything you need in this moment. So now, I'd like you to take your attention down to your feet, and 
just as we did with your breath, I'd like you to take a moment to notice them. Just notice the feet. Check in with them. See how they're feeling. And in particular, I'd like you to notice if you're holding any tension in your feet. Are the toes scrunched up? Are your feet flexed or held at a particular angle? Just let go of them. Let them soften. And if you're the sort of person who is helped by visualizations, you can imagine that your feet are heating up and softly beginning to melt away. Imagine all the bones in your feet melting. Imagine all the muscles in your feet softening. Just let them go. Let them relax. And then I'd like you to move your sense of awareness up to your ankles and just check in with your ankles. Say hello to them if you want to. Think of all the amazing work they've done for you today and just allow them now to relax. You can imagine them softening. You can imagine them heating up and melting away if you want to. Just let the ankles go. And now let's move our attention up to our calves. And you can focus on the hard shin bone on the front of the calf and also the softer muscle on the back of the calf. And again, just check in. How are your calves feeling? Let go of any tension you're holding in the calf muscle. Let the muscle soften. And imagine that both of your calves are just gently melting away now. Let them go. They've done their work for the day, and now it's time to release them. Now take your attention to your knees, the hard kneecap on the front of the knee, and the soft tissue on the back of the knee. Take your attention into your knees now and just see how they feel. Check them out. Think of all the work they've done for you today and you can thank them silently if you want to. And let them go. Let them release. Imagine that your kneecaps are softening and melting away. You can even imagine them melting and spreading out across the surface beneath you. Just let them go. Moving up the legs now, you can take your attention into your thighs. The thighs work so hard for us as we walk around during the day. So just thank them now for the work that they've done and let them go. This is their time to relax. This is their time to rest. So you can check in with the big muscles on the front of the thigh and the back of the thigh too and just make sure that they're not holding any tension and that you can release them and let them melt away. Now moving your attention up to your hip bones, imagine those hard knobs of bone just softening, heating up, melting away. Just let them go. Then let that feeling of release expand right through your pelvis. Let go of any tension you're holding there and imagine your pelvis 
softening and melting away as it releases all its tensions for the day. Move your centre of awareness now to the back of your body and to your tailbone, the coccyx at the base of the spine. Imagine your coccyx heating up and beginning to melt away, and at the same time, let that feeling of softening and melting expand right through your buttock muscles. We spend a lot of time sitting on our bums these days, but that requires effort from the buttock muscles, and they can quite often remain tense, even when we think the rest of our body is feeling relaxed. So just let them go now. Imagine them softening and melting and sinking down into deep relaxation. And now working your way up from the tailbone at the base of the spine, I want you to move your awareness slowly up your back vertebra by vertebra, and as your attention rises, slowly up your back. I want you to imagine that each tiny vertebra in your back is melting away, and at the same time, the muscles that surround your vertebra are melting away too. So let go of your back. And as you move up your back, you might want to just check in with it. Notice if there's any discomfort there. Release any tension as much as you can. And visualize your back sinking down into deep relaxation. As you continue to move up the back, become aware of the back of the ribs spreading out on either side of the spine, and then take your attention up into your shoulder blades. The shoulder blades are big bones, and they're surrounded by a complex network of muscles. So just imagine them sinking down even further now, and you can visualize them heating up and melting away, if you want to. Just let them go. Imagine them spreading out and softening and releasing. And now take your attention into your shoulder caps, relaxing and releasing them, imagining them softening and melting away. And then take that melting, softening consciousness right down through your arms. Relax and release your upper arms. Let them sink down and melt away. Release your elbows and imagine them softening and melting. Release your forearms. Let them sink down. Release your wrists and the palms of your hands. And take a moment now to check in with the whole of each of your hands. The backs of the hands, the knuckles, the individual fingers, the thumbs. Our hands do so much work for us every day. And while we're often aware of them, and what they're doing, we're usually focused on the task they're performing rather than what the hands are actually doing themselves. But they are an amazing and enabling part of our body, so just thank them now for the work that they do and let them know that it's time for them to rest. They can sink down now and release. 
take your attention back up the arms now to the nape of the neck. And again, like the tailbone, this is a big bone at one end of your spine, forming a framework for your spine, connecting it, holding it in place. So just take a moment now to imagine your nape heating up, softening, and beginning to melt away. You can imagine it melting and spreading out along with the shoulders. Let the whole area melt away, spread out, release, relax. And now let's take our attention into those tiny little vertebrae in the back of the neck. Take your attention there and just imagine releasing those tiny vertebrae one by one. Let them go. Let them relax. And now take your attention into your head. Feel the heaviness of your head and imagine it sinking down even further. Become aware of your scalp and every hair that's growing out of it. Just releasing now. Softening. Melting away. Let go of your head. It's done amazing work today. So now... Let it relax and rest. Moving your attention now from the scalp, through the hairline, and down into the face. Soften your forehead. Soften your eye sockets. Imagine the temples and the cheekbones melting away. Soften your jaw. The jaw is another big bone surrounded by lots of dense muscle. And again, it's an area of our bodies where we quite often store tension without even realising it. So just let the jaw go now. Let it release. Let it relax and sink down. Taking your attention now down through your neck, relaxing and releasing the neck and the throat, and down through the collarbones and into the chest, and imagine your chest just releasing and relaxing. You can imagine it warming up and melting away if you want to. Feel the front of the shoulders melting away, the breastbone, the collarbones. Just let them relax. And then take your attention down to the front of the ribs. Feel them spreading out to either side. And then take your attention down to your centre the area below the ribs, around the navel, and just above the pelvis. And I want you to imagine that your lungs expand all the way down to your centre, and that you can breathe right down to your navel. Breathe in and let the breath flow down to your centre. And when you breathe out, send the breath up from your centre. And as you do this, imagine that you can feel your whole body connected to that breath. And imagine the breath travelling over your body in waves. So breathe down now to your toes. And release your exhalation up from your toes. Breathe down into your knees and your calves. 
Breathe into your thighs and your pelvis. Breathe to your tailbone and send your exhalation travelling all up your spine. Breathe into your shoulders. Breathe into your arms and your hands. Breathe into your scalp and your face and feel every part of your body softened and refreshed by that beautiful sustaining breath. That breath will continue to sustain you. The surface you are lying on will continue to support you and the room around you will continue to shelter you as you drift off now into ever-deepening relaxation. This brings me to the end of this deep relaxation track. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope it's helped you to feel sleepy and relaxed. If you've enjoyed it, I would really appreciate you letting me know, because if people do find this sort of track helpful to them, then I can make some similar videos in the future. However, for now, thank you so much for your company. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.